Hey guys, welcome to SourceFed, I'm Steve Zaragoza. George R.R. Martin, the creator, writer, god of the Song of Ice and Fire slash Game of Thrones series is taking forever to finish the last two books in the series, The Winds of Winter and The Dream of Spring. Fans have expressed their frothing intensity and worry for a long time, even before the television series aired. Will G.R.R. Martin be able to finish the series? Okay, so he's 65 and he's a bit of a larger gentleman. The concern is sort of legitimate, but from old Georgie Boy's perspective, he's being faced with his mortality on a constant basis from strangers, and that's gotta suck. So what does George R. R. Martin say when asked the question for the billionth time in an interview with a Swiss newspaper? F you! Oh uh, yeah, and then he flips off the camera. Don't believe me? Here's a photo. But Steve, photos can be doctored to feature anyone doing anything. Fine, here's video proof. F you to those people. <laughs> Still don't believe it? Even better, here to comment in person on the incident Mr. George R. R. Martin. George, thank you so much for joining us. Sure, fine, whatever, f*** it, f*** you, f*** it. F*** <sighs> Thanks. It's a pleasure. It's an honor. So what's going on, George? Clearly you're upset about the outcry of fan <sighs> pestering. Really? Is this what you're asking me about? Well, Steve, I get a constant barrage of letters, phone calls, tweets, twinkles, and twisters. And frankly, I'm sick of it. All right, I get it. You've created a series beloved by billions all over the world that spun off into a television show. You you've birthed characters and places that people have fallen deeply in love with. You hold the key to their emotions in your hand. Really quick, imagine if you will that you're a beloved character mm. in, say, a book. Okay, all right, interesting concept. I'm kind of on board, go on. Great, everyone loves that book, and everyone loves you. Wow, what's that like? Your character does amazing things, changes the world even. Your dialogue creates intense heart tears. There's toys and t-shirts of you. And then all of a sudden it turns out that that bag of chips you've been eating during the whole interview is poison. <laughs> what? <coughs> Oh, not my bugle! It's too late, George. That's fast acting poison. Oh, oh no! Oh god, fuck. I'm dying in this hypothetical, really good book you created. Oh, why? <laughs> fuck you! Shut the fuck up! Now, think oh. about all those people that love you so very much and how they'd react to this. Oh. <coughs> all the crying. The tears, like a million voices crying out at once, then suddenly silence, because I died. F you. And that's all I'm trying to say, man. The people who are pestering you, they're just worried about the beloved real life character, George R.R. R. Martin. Just go finish those books, George. <sighs> it's not that easy, Steve. I have to confess something I've never told anyone but my wife. I'm sorry, Paris. I love you so much. Oh, wow. Is this an exclusive? Okay, well, go ahead, George, please. The camera's yours. <clears throat> Is this which one's mine? Is that one? Which camera? This one? Okay. Everyone, listen. I... I'll die if I finish the books. W wait. What? Steve, please, let me explain. Years ago, as a boy, I sold my soul to El Diablo. You know him as the devil. In exchange, I'm immortal and get unlimited bags of bugles. The only catch is, I can never finish my books or I'll die. Oh my god, you, you've just been stalling all these years? And the fans begging you to finish the books is just a constant reminder that you actually just can't or you'll die? Fuck you! Fuck! I mean, yes. You got it. It's the truth. George, I have the answer. I can save you. With this magic crystal and this pen, I'm going to write a book where you never sold your soul to the devil, but you still wrote a series of books that changed the world and made billions happy. You get your life and your soul back, and you get to finish those books without the fear of the devil. <gasps> what? Oh, oh my gosh! Steve, you'd do that for me? Of course, George. I... I love you. <sighs> oh my gosh. Steve, thank you. Thank you so much. My God, you saved me, Steve. You saved me from the devil. You saved me from hell and the devil. You saved me from the Diablo. Can I give you a hug? Ooh, no, we don't have the budget for that.